Today we're talking about Blackheart's new Gravel AL, an aluminum gravel bike aimed at balancing adventure, performance, and value. Oh, and it's available in 137 different colors. More on that later. Blackheart was kind enough to loan me the Gravel AL for a first look. No money changed hands, Blackheart has no input into the video and they'll see it at the same time you do. In this video, I'll run through the frame specs, the test bike, and some initial impressions after riding it for around 100 miles. The Gravel AL frame is built with high-end 7005 aluminum. It has a T47 bottom bracket, a 31.6 millimeter seat post, and uses a SRAM universal derailleur hanger, which I think makes it a little more future-proof. It's built to accommodate both one by and two by electronic group sets, and if you like to run mechanical, it's set up to run one by mechanical. The max chainring clearance for Shimano is a 4831 and a 4633 for SRAM. And if you want to run one by, the max size is a 462. It has an NV in route fork with cargo mounts. And if you look close enough, you might just recognize this fork because it's the same one that you'd find on an NV Mog. It has clearance for 47 millimeter tires. It's available in eight different sizes and it comes in right around the $2,000 price point. And that's with the custom paint frame option. See, Blackheart's including the option to choose from 137 different Cerakote paint colors for both frame and logo. And for an additional $200, you can custom paint the fork to match. Now, $2,000 is a pretty dang good value. Now, the test bike that I was sent was painted in a really cool color. I think they call it Black Cherry, and the fork is painted to match. It also had Black Hearts Carbon one-piece bar stem combo. It's got a Physique Argo saddle, and it has a full SRAM Force Axis group with the Hunt 40 Gravel Race wheel set with 45 millimeter Pirelli Centurado RC tires. And the weight with pedals and bottle cages, just as you see it here, came in at right under 20 pounds. That's not too bad. Now aesthetically, the Gravel AL looks clean and seems to find the proper balance between adventure with features like the cargo mounts on the fork and performance with the drop seat stays, the clean front end, and the flared top tool with the cam tail down tube. The geometry is in line with other gravel bikes that I've ridden. And for reference, I ride a 56 across the board, and this test bike in a 56 feels just right. Now that's all great, but what's it like to ride? Can I tell the difference in stiffness and responsiveness between the Gravel AL and a similarly specced carbon gravel bike? The short answer is no, I can't, and I think that's important especially considering that a gravel bike is typically your second or third bike after a road or mountain bike. Adding that additional bike to the garage likely means that you're a little more focused on value and saving a few thousand dollars goes a long way and probably, as it is with me, scores you a few points with your significant other. My initial impressions were that the Gravel AL had a very familiar feel to it. I pushed it onto Sense and it was fast and confident. I jumped out of the saddle on climbs and it responded quickly, especially with the Centurado RCs, keeping the bike connected to the dirt. And my time with the Gravel AL was all smiles and I don't know what it is, but there's something that happens when we leave the pavement and venture far beyond our normal routes. Blackheart will say that's where enlightenment happens, during those moments of exploration and adventure. That's something that resonates with all of us. And I have to say that riding the Gravel AL on Saturday was the most fun I've had on a gravel bike in months. And while the weather was good and the company was even better, it was the bike that inspired me to get out, to explore, and seek out those new routes that brought a smile to my face. Now, I've often used the phrase, the everyday athlete, to describe myself. And I'd say that the Gravel AL is probably the everyday athlete's gravel bike, landing right at the intersection of performance, adventure, and value. Thanks again to Blackheart for loaning me the Gravel AL. I'll link their website below where you can get more details, check out the geometry chart, and all the different build options. Anyways, until next time.